Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, animatorsforum.com, and on also the Real Illusion Forums. Try to help whatever I can. Somebody asked how to do a blood splatter. Okay, so if you go to the web, there's lots of these green screen motion effects for different things, for water and splatter and stuff. And we use these inside of iClone in various ways. Uh, but in order to get it to be on a person, which is what they were asking for, uh, so what I did is I downloaded this, and you can find various tools to do that. If you need to, let me know, and I'll put links in the comments below on how to find tools. Or you can uh, just do a search on downloading videos. But I downloaded this video, and then I brought it into my video editor. This is this... Um, let me turn this off for a second. So this is the the effect of the blood. And what I did, and if I happen to have Adobe Premiere, if you have some other video editor, hopefully you know how to do this, but... Uh, in my video editor in Premiere, I can just apply uh, Ultra Key, just map it and key out the green. So now I have the effect of, of the blood coming over black, okay? Like that, keyed out the green. Makes sense, hopefully. Um, so after I did that, I, I brought in from, um, from Character Creator 3, I brought in the... Um, the guy, <laughs> the guy's texture. So I went to the texture, and because I want to have the uh, wound on the body, I went ahead and, and copied this base color texture. The reason I did that is I wanted to have a reference point as to where I could put the blood, okay? So you have the blood here, but I wanted to put it somewhere specific, and I wanted to put it on the body. So that's why I did that with, the, uh, with that. You don't really need to do that part, but I think it's helpful. So what I did there is then, then I positioned it exactly the way I wanted to. So I went into, into my effect here and then into the, the places I went, you know, to position it exactly, exactly on the body, exactly where I want it to. So, you know, that way he could get shot on the side and it would, it would do something like that, okay? So uh, as long as I have the, the uh, timelines turned off, it doesn't set keys for that. So it stays right where I'm at. So there's, so now it's positioned that blood like that, Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to add a color mat of white behind there. And the reason we want to do that is, you'll see in a second, when we uh, use a blend channel, the white is going to get the transparency information, and then the blood will then show up. So that's essentially what we want at that point in time. Okay? So then we export this. I exported it as a WMV file. There's only really two types of uh, files that work. Well, actually, three if you count pop video. There's the... WMV, there's, and there's AVI, and there's Pop Video. Those are the only three that work reliably inside of iClone. Don't try to use MP4, MOVs, or any of those things because they just don't work properly inside of iClone. So I exported that. Oh, the other thing I did too is this is that green screen blood. I, I extended the time on it. So, you know, I, I don't know how familiar or how much I want to go into uh, Premiere because this really isn't a Premiere tutorial, but you can. You can just change the time, and those blood splatters are going very quickly, so I slowed the speed down to 25. Okay, so that's just all I did there. I'm not going to really go into too much in Premiere unless you guys want me to. I'll be glad to do that, but really this is mostly an iClone tutorial. So now, inside of iClone, okay, I have the character, and I go to, uh, at this particular place, I go to the start, and there's the skin of the body, and uh, I'm going to just put that blend channel. Now, you notice that I could have, if you're playing a really strict attention. I could have gone ahead and taken out the color mat and just gone ahead and exported this whole video of him bleeding on the, on his body and then applied it to the body itself here. But then that would have locked it in right to this point in time. There would have been no way I could have moved it around on the timeline. By putting it in the blend channel, we have a lot more flexibility. Plus, you can use it for other characters. You don't necessarily have to use it for this body. It'll work for any body that works in there. So on the blend channel, I just go in here and just go to that blood splat, WMV file, and there it is. And because it's got a white as a transparency, it immediately works to have the right, the right thing on the, on the guy with the... Um, in the blend channel using the multiply. So the multiply uses the widest transparency information and then whatever other color is there will then be, be there. So there's so now he's you know he can get shot and then and then he can bleed. Okay, now and, and the nice thing about it is when it reaches the end of the video it continues to hold that last frame, which is good because now he's bloody. The other thing we can do is now we can move that splatter on the timeline anywhere we want. So we can have the effect of him getting shot wherever we want it to be. Let's say he can get shot you know, right about there. And so now he's you know, fine on the timeline until we actually reach that one point. Here where he reaches that point around 700 frames 
where he's then going to get shot, and we could have the sound effect, you know, and have him react there. And so he goes, bang, and he goes, oh, no, I'm bleeding, you know, that sort of thing. Okay? Um, and, and it stays like that. So you can also, because it's on the timeline, we can also stretch this out. We can switch it to um, here to the time factor speed, and we can actually even slow it down further in here if we go to the... Uh, I guess you can't. No, that's right. You can't do that with video. Sorry. You can't do that. I forgot you can't do it with video. But you can position it that way. So hopefully this explains that if you have Adobe Premiere, it's a piece of cake. You can make these blood splatters easily. Uh, if you don't, if you have another video editor, maybe you can figure that out. I've been working in Premiere for so long, I really wouldn't know any other editor at all to do it in. So I'm sorry that I can't help you there. So hopefully this does help a little bit, and we'll see you around the farms.